As prosecutors prepare for trial, they sit down with Marcos's dad, Ivan Arenas, a single father who's always worked hard to create a better life for his teenage sons. His recollections of what happened that tragic day are critical to their case. So on the day that this happened, Marcos was with Jacori. Right. And how long had him and Jacori been friends? They've been friends maybe two years, give or take a little. Marcos was going to Chipotle, right? Yes. And that's the last time I ever saw him. I go outside and I, I see the helicopter right above us. And first I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, another day in the neighborhood, you know, not thinking anything of it. Little that I know that it was my son, the one in need. Next thing I know, I see Jacory running towards me and his mom running to me. The minute I saw them two running to me, I knew something was terribly wrong and I knew it was him. Corey told me right away, he was like, Marcos is dead. <laughs> and his mom was like, don't say that, you don't know that. Don't say that. And she was just like, you know, it was an accident, his blood all over the place. <laughs> but I saw it in Corey's face when he said that, you know. Oh, Ivan. <laughs> you know. And then when I actually got to the hospital, he was in a coma for a minute. The doctor said that I had to make a decision whether I wanted to put the plug or not. And my selfish love would have kept him on the coma because I wouldn't have said to pull the plug on him. And just a minute after, you know, they came back out and they said, you know what, he, he passed away. When Marcos passed, I... I feel like a part of me passed away. And I feel like the other part of me just wants to follow.